God has divinely appointed time scheduled in history, and he uses the sun, the moon, and the stars as visible indicators. Lunar eclipses, also known as blood moons, are one of these signs. One blood moon has just occurred. According to our guest, three more are ahead. Pastor Mark Biltz, again today on Jewish Voice. I want you to talk a little bit more about the biblical calendar because it's when you put the biblical right. calendar, overlaid it um, to the dates, the Nassau dates that this all exploded for you. The revelation, yes. I'm on to something here. Yes. And well, guess what? God says we're in the world, but we're not of it. And we need to realize we have to operate on two calendars. One of them is our normal Gregorian calendar. Uh, who we got from Julius Caesar. It was the Julian calendar first. Pagan Rome came up with this. It's based totally on the sun. It's a wonderful calendar, but it's not the one God uses. Then you have the uh, Muslim calendar, which is based totally on the moon. Okay, great calendar, but it's not the one God uses. This is why Ramadan will float. One year it'll be in June, another year July, another year August. But and God, Easter, Passover, same thing. Right, well, what's, I'm glad you brought that up. This is the importance of the biblical calendar. Now, how many of you believe that God is a God of order? Okay. Yes. The Holy Spirit was not going to be poured out on Pentecost until he rose from the dead. He's not going to rise from the dead until he's buried. And he's not going to be buried until he died. Right? We're with you. God happened in order. Well, the problem is a long time ago, the church got off the biblical calendar. Do you know in 2016, Easter is a month before Passover. We're celebrating the resurrection a month before he dies. Now think about the consequence of that. If this blood moon was happening in that year, no one would see the connection from the church.